Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and we're gonna get started on the 47th chapter of the Exploring the Arsenal series featuring me, Asian Psycho, aka Dope Sniper 98 And in this episode, or in this chapter of reviews, we'll be taking a look at the very, very famous and very powerful line of handguns here called the Desert Eagle. You guys all know the Desert Eagle from other games, probably, hopefully. The, and you guys probably know that the Desert Eagle, no matter what game it's in, is known as a relatively, or very, depending on what game you're playing, very strong handgun. And in Combat Arms, that's no exception either. The Deagle is the is one of the most powerful handguns in Combat Arms. It is, uh, I or I like to classify it as one of the power pistols of this game, along along with all the other revolvers in this game, because the revolvers most of the time, except for the Anaconda Gold, um, are clean two-shot kills, or they're supposed to be anyway. So, yeah, the Desert Eagle. Let's get started on the review on the Desert Eagle. Uh, just uh, just a quick reminder, um, throughout the uh, Deagle uh, chapter of reviews, I will be referring to it as the Deagle instead of the Desert Eagle, so if you guys are wondering why I, call, I keep calling it the Deagle instead of the Desert Eagle, it's just a little bit time uh, time sparing on my part, where I don't really have to say Desert Eagle um, all the time, I can just say, go on and say Deagle, and that's about it. So, this gameplay, uh, and the next, and all the gameplays, actually, for all the uh, Desert Eagles, uh, Desert Eagle reviews, you'll see me use all four variants. Oh, actually, I'm all, I'm just missing one variant, and that's the American Eagle, but that's a special variant. Um, it's kind of like the Desert Eagle SE, but I'll get that later in a second. I don't actually have the Desert Eagle, uh, the American Eagle, which is technically called. Um, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to uh, look for that, it's for, uh, I'll have to ask someone else for me to access that. Or I could just wait until the 4th of July sales and hope that Nexon releases it again for permanent purchase, which I would have expected that they would, seeing their, uh, their sales um, mentality here, but... You never know. They might not release it for uh, permanent purchase again. So maybe I'll have to ask someone else who also have, who has it permanent or something like that. But in any case, hope you guys enjoy the uh, the nice PZ right there. <laughs> that was quite the awesome PZ. And um, yeah, let's get started on the review on the Desert Eagle. So a little bit of background information on the Desert Eagle. It is an Israeli um, gas-operated uh, handgun. It is a massive, massive handgun. I th I want to say I fired this in real life, but I'm pretty sure it was a fake variant of the Desert Eagle, like some sort of watered-down variant. It was, it's a long story how I got my hands on that, so I won't even bother trying to explain that. But anyways, and pertains to combat arms, the uh, Desert Eagle is unlocked at Master Sergeant 3, just like the uh, the rank at, you, at which you unlock the SG-550. And it does, it used to cost 650 GP a day, um, if Nexon hadn't removed the one day duration sales, um, but right now they do, it does cost 13, or 3,185 GP for a week, and the Desert Eagle is also able to be customized, so hopefully I don't I forget the, uh, the customizable, customizable, yeah, customizable, how do you say that word? Customizable, there we go, um, aspect of the, uh, Desert Eagles, so hopefully I won't forget that, and, uh, forget, remember to, um, talk about that uh, during the um, during the later half of this video. So, all the background information aside, let's get into the actual statistics of the Desert Eagle, the meat and butter, the bread and butter, I should say, of the, uh, these reviews. So starting with this damage. Damage is obviously very high as you would expect of the Desert Eagle at 70. Now here's the little quirk about the Desert Eagle. I mentioned before in some, some other uh, Anaconda or Revolver um, I am lagging a little bit during this game, so I do apologize for that. Um, I am, or I do remember mentioning for some other um, of the revolvers that I've done reviews on that some revolvers are, f for some reason, really weak, and they're prone to three-shot kills. The, the, the Desert Eagle, it's possible to get three-shot kills if you if you get some sort of weird problem with lag. It only happens about maybe 10% of the time, so, which means it's really rare, but it is definitely possible that you will have to put in three shots for uh, from your Desert Eagle into any but into someone. And when that happens, I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it doesn't really happen. The good thing is it doesn't happen uh, most of the time. So there we go. Damage. It should be a very strong two-shot kill. Now, for for a time, um, the Desert Eagle was actually able to do a clean one-shot kill to the back. That was uh, when the Desert Eagles were really popular. I mean, I'm talking really popular. Back in the day, maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe two years ago even, um, because the Desert Eagle was released back in 2009. Um, 
I remember me and my friend protagonist would go around uh, dealing people because the Desert Eagle was ca really capable of um, pulling off one shot kill to the back of any any person. Like even heavy vessels, the Desert Eagle was able to pull off one shot kills. But since then, it seems like Nexon has patched it so that it wasn't it can't be able to um, deal a clean one shot kill to the back of anyone. Um, not even the Desert Eagle Gold, I don't think, can um, pull off the one shot kill to the back. I don't think. I think I I remember I remember pulling shooting someone in the back with the Desert Eagle Gold and it still didn't take him out one shot. And they were full health too, so unfortunately that's that's I guess pretty bad, but I mean it's too bad. So those those are good old good old days, and I mean we can't really hope for the good old days back because they're long and gone. So in any case, the damage is still a very very good factor about or a very very huge pro about the Desert Eagles. Usually it should be a two shot kill and nothing else. The damage drop off for the damage drop off the de on the Desert Eagle, it's very very good uh, as with other um, as with other. Um, Power pistols like the revolvers and the other Desert Eagle variants, um, even at long range or con uh, or long range for pistols rather, um, it still deals a very consistent two shot kill. I mean, you're gonna have to talk about you're, we're talking about long, long range, like long range for assault rifles that w that your uh, Desert Eagle will be able to do like a three shot kill or something like that. So for all pr practical uh, ranges for pistols, um, your Desert Eagle will be able to deal a clean two shot kill and nothing else, even to the front. Uh, portability. Portability is surprisingly high on the Desert Eagle. It, it, assume, like, if you guys have ever held, like, a Desert Eagle in real life, um, I've heard that Desert Eagles weigh a lot, um, in real life, so, with that in mind, I would have, you would expect that the Desert Eagle would actually be a little bit more, uh, less portable, or I wouldn't say more, but less portable than it is, it, it, it's portrayed in Combat Arms, but apparently Combat Arms gives the, um, or according to Combat Arms Wiki anyway, the Wiki says that the Desert Eagle has an 85 portability, so um, assuming that the Desert Eagle, uh, the statistics on Combat Arms Wiki is correct, the Desert Eagle surprisingly has a pretty high, ac uh, not accuracy, but portability, so there you go, it's pretty high. Moving on to the rate of fire. The rate of fire is understandably really, really slow at 11. And although technically speaking, it's a it's a fully automatic pistol. Yes, I've gotten some shit about oh the Desert Eagle is technically the first auto fully automatic pistol. Well, to be honest, go screw yourselves, because the Desert Eagle is not meant to be used as an assault right. Uh, Sorry, what the hell am I saying? A fully automatic pistol. Cause it's rate of fire, let's get let's face it, it's eleven. It's got an eleven rate of fire. That's probably the slowest rate of fire you'll see in any any um pistol in the game. I mean I'm I'm pretty sure the Anaconda Black has a faster uh, faster rate of fire than that. I think it had like twelve rate of fire. So this Eagles ha obviously have very, very slow rate rates of fire. And no in no way can you say that oh they're they're automatic handguns. Cause no, I mean you can hold down the trigger and it'll keep firing, sure, but it's not supposed to be used the same way as you would use like say the Bush the recent Bushmaster or your G Teen Cobra. It doesn't work that way. So I don't want to hear anyone bitching about oh the desert eagle is the first technically the first automatic pistol yeah you got a point so what you're not going to use it like a you're you're going to use my point is you're not going to use it like you would a bushmaster so i'm sorry if, if i'm stumbling over my words because i'm talking too fast but i'm just a little bit annoyed by the people who keep saying oh no the desert eagle is the first fully automatic pistol get over it okay moving on the accuracy on the Desert Eagle is pretty low, for, or actually, I shouldn't say pretty low because I'm thinking along the lines of like other assault rifles and like other standard conventional rifles here. Um, for a pistol, is actually it's actually on the higher side of things. Not the not the most, high, it's not the highest because I, there are other Anacondas obviously or other revolvers obviously that have a higher accuracy than the Desert Eagle. But for what it is, I mean, like G G23 I think doesn't have, uh, doesn't compare in, in terms of accuracy uh, to the uh, Desert Eagle. So Desert Eagle is actually surprisingly accurate and. It's one of the one of the um, counterbalances to the fact that Desert Eagle is pretty unwieldy to use, especially with its very high recoil and a very slow rate of fire. So it's understandable that it would it should be pretty accurate. And um, although the recoil spread obviously, obviously doesn't agree with it, but we'll get to that later in a second. The recoil now. <laughs> that in a second is just now. The recoil is at a very high 66 for the Desert Eagle and. Um, 
technically speaking, it's actually really, it's, it's not too bad if you think about it, but still, the recoil spread is what makes the Desert Eagle so difficult to use. The Desert Eagle's um, the Desert Eagle's recoil spread is really big to begin with, uh, while especially while strafing. So what I recommend for you guys who want to use the Desert Eagle effectively is every time you are about to fire, crouch down because if you crouch, the recoil spread obviously gets a lot better and. You can definitely you have a much better chance of picking people off at long ranges because the Desert Eagle. You need to remember um, the Desert Eagle has a very good damage drop off. You can so you can viably take down people at long range or even middle range or long range at that matter uh, while crouching down. So that's why I feel that crouching down is a very good tactic while using um, while using the Desert Eagle. Sometime in this gameplay or along the somewhere along these lines of the next few reviews uh, featuring the Desert Eagle variants, you'll see me often crouching down for each shot or just crouching and holding the crouch down button um, while I'm spraying with the Desert Eagle if you can even spray with the Desert Eagle to begin with um so that's why I do that because if you crouch down, obviously your recoil spread gets a lot better and becomes much more accurate. So you so long range um, fighting with the Desert Eagle is a lot better, and you got a lot better chance of actually killing people uh, with your Desert Eagle at long range while you crouch down, of course. So that's it's about to see uh, the uh, recoil spread. It is pretty bad, but if you crouch, it is largely negated. It's not perfectly accurate, but it's still a, you, you still got a lot better chance of hitting people uh, while you're crouching down. Recoil kickback, it's actually technically really high, but because of this really slow rate of fire, the really slow rate of fire largely negates the uh, the high recoil kickback that the Desert Eagle suffers. So, all in all, you don't really need to worry about the, uh, the uh, recoil kickback at all. Um, it may throw your aim off, uh, especially if you're holding down the, your, um, your left click, so it goes fully auto, but if you aim your shots properly and you don't you basically not let yourself spray with Desi Eagle out of control, then your Rico kickback shouldn't be a problem. Overall, the Rico controllability is still very, very difficult, but remember uh, my attack about crouching down and stuff. Um, crouching down will largely help you, will help you a lot in controlling the recoil on the Desert Eagle because tap firing with the Desert Eagle is um, very easy because obviously it's got a very low rate of fire, so you know controlling your shots uh, per bullet is very easy of course but um it's just it's just the recoil spread and how accurate you can make your deagle is what you, what your main problems are in controlling your recoil so there you go Sprint drawback. No, on to the non-essential uh non non statistical and just trivial aspects of the Desert Eagle um the Eagle's uh, sprint drawback here is relatively it's it's average for um, pistols. It's not it's nothing too special. It's not like you after you after you're sprinting your desert will go your desert eagle will go like that. So um, it's pretty on par with other uh, other pistols like the G23 and other stuff like that. So it's nothing too special, nothing to worry about. On um, draw speed, draw speed slightly slower than say like your uh, spam your conventional spammable pistol like your G23. Um, it's slightly slower actually it's it's considerably slower but still it's a sidearm so it's still it'll be drawn relatively quickly most faster than other assault rifles obviously so there you go uh, moving on to the center speed. The center speed on the Deagle is on the slower side of things, but then again, it's, re oh, re it's uh, rate of fire is so goddamn slow that the center speed is is obviously going to is going to negate itself. So don't even worry about the center speed; it's going to take care of itself. Moving on to the uh, reload speed. The reload speed on the Desert Eagle is a little bit slower than the standard um, reload speed on, say, like the G23, like your other spamable uh, pistols. However, here's the one thing about the Desert Eagle. The Desert Eagle and the Desert Eagle SE. I believe the American Eagle as well. I'm not too sure if the American Eagle ha only has 14 bullets as well, so please correct me on that if I'm wrong. But I know for a fact that Desert Eagle and the Deagle SE, the NX standard variant of the Desert Eagle, both hold 14 rounds total. Now, the way that pistols work in combat arms, in terms of uh, how many uh, bullets that it can totally hold, is that the Desert Eagles can actually have extended magazines in them. So if you put extended mag 2 um, twos on the Desert Eagle or the Desert Eagle SE, that means that you technically don't even need to reload at all, because technically speaking, your Desert Eagle will hold 14 bullets, and it will have no spare ammunition. So if you really want to not worry about the recoil, re uh, the re recoil the reload speed at all or the reload at all for that matter 
What you can do is just slap on an XM Mag 2 on it, and you'll start with 14 bullets right off the bat, and you don't even re need to reload it at all. That's a useful trick that I sometimes use if I don't want to uh, worry about the uh, recoil or why do I keep saying recoil? The um, reload on the uh, the D Desert Eagle. If I if I don't want to bother with it, then I'll just slap the XM Mag 2 on it, and <laughs> I'll just keep spraying. And if I run out of ammo, I'll just switch to a, switch to another pistol, and that's that. So just a little tip for you guys. If you guys don't, uh, if you guys uh, want to use a Desert Eagle a little bit more um, proper, well, I wish I shouldn't say properly, but a little bit more practically. And obviously, it's it's, it's just a little tip. I mean, it's not. It shouldn't really make it be the determinant factor of making you know, making or breaking your experience with the Desert Eagle. But I find a little bit more help in times where I don't really want to deal with the re uh, the recoil. Why do I keep saying recoil? God damn it. Um, the, um, the reload on the Desert Eagle, because it is kind of slow, so um, it's, not, it's not the best, but it's, it's still something. So hopefully you guys will uh, take my tip a little bit with the, um, with the grain of salt here. Did I even use that phrase properly? Anyways, um, the fire mode. So obviously the fire modes on the Desert Eagle, like I've ranted about for a couple, a good, like, five minutes before uh like earlier in the, in, in the earlier half of this video is technically fully automatic but then again that's something you should look over because you're not going to use the eagle like a fucking bushmaster obviously so forget about that uh, moving on to the luck. The luck on the Desert Eagle is pretty low because I mean it is a power pistol. I mean in this game you'll see me get a, get quite a few PZs, but to be honest, it's not very high. I mean on other variants, especially on the Desert Eagle Gold. Now that that's another story. So hold on, to, hold on to your luck factor uh, for the, on the Desert Eagles until we get to Desert Eagle Gold. Uh, ammo capacity, like I mentioned before, it starts with 7 rounds in a magazine and 7 reserve. So like I mentioned before, you know, that little tip that I gave you, um, if you guys don't really want to deal with the reload, um, you can just slap on an XM Mag 2 and <laughs> you'll start with 14 bullets uh, in one giant magazine and you don't need to reload at all. Uh, moving on to the key physical characteristics. Um, I mean... The Desert Eagle is pretty iconic. I mean, it, I'd be surprised if someone who was well familiar with um, FPSs in general doesn't didn't know what a Desert Eagle looked like. But if you guys don't know what it looks like, it's a massive handgun. And in your HUD, you, or which which is basically what you see on your screen while you play Combat Arms, it looks pretty massive. So yeah, that's what she said too. Um, moving on to muzzle noise. Muzzle noise is a very loud blasting noise, and no, I won't imitate the gun noise, because I'm pretty sure you can hear it very well in the gameplay itself, so. Yes, it's a very loud and blasting noise, so, if you hear this, if you hear, like, a loud blasting noise across the room, or across the, uh, the map, then you know someone's using the deagle. It's pretty unique. There's no, there's not really any other, uh, pistol, pistol family that shares the same kind of muzzle noise as the Desert Eagle, so, there you go. It's pretty unique. Attachment options, like I mentioned before, uh, the Desert Eagle, or I shouldn't say like I mentioned before, because I only mentioned Extend Magazine's um, issue with it. Um, the Desert Eagle is unfortunately only able to be uh, modified with Extend Magazines or um, or magazine modifications in general. I don't know what you'd be doing with the with the uh, with the fast loader magazine because I think it would only give you like four bullets or so. So it's like, why even bother? Maybe five bullets, but. Because the, ammo, the Desert Eagle has such low ammo capacity anyway, you'd be hurting yourself if you had a fast loader magazine on this. So it's like, why even bother putting a fast loader magazine on this? So if you needed to, the best uh, magazine modification on the Desert Eagle is obviously the Desert Eagle. Uh, what? The, uh, the extended magazine too, because then you start with 14 rounds and you don't need to reload at all. Moving on to whether or not it's fire team worthy, I wouldn't say it's fire team worthy because it just has so little ammo. Generally speaking, the entire Desert Eagle family, um, even the Desert Eagle Gold and Desert Eagle Black, which have an extent extra magazine as well, they're just not worth for fire team because I mean they might be worth it for uh, for the MP the human NPC fire teams like Desert Thunder, Nexus HQ, and uh, Desert Fox, but as no, it's a terrible choice for fire uh, for um for black lung and cabin fear because it, they just have so little ammo it's not it's not cost effective or what am i what am i commenting here starcraft um they're just they're, they just have so little ammo they're not going to pay for themselves very well so i don't recommend you guys bring desert eagles along with you to fire team so scratch that 
quarantine not so much either because of the same issue i mean it does have surprisingly good portability for what it is but it just has four it only has 14 rounds there's only so much you can do with 14 rounds and even though technically speaking i think desert eagle bullets actually push zombies back a little bit further than like say your g20 your, your standard g23 bullet but i would pr much prefer um having more ammo or the uh, the ability to push zombies a little bit further back because i think 30 bullets will win over 14 bullets any day of the week. There you go. That's just... I mean, I'm no quarantine expert, but that's just my honest opinion, so... Whatever. You, you, you may or may not want to listen to me on that respect. So, before I get into my per frank personal opinions, thank god I remembered this, the Desert Eagle customization. So, if you guys didn't know, the Desert Eagle is able to be customized. Um... The damage is not able to be customized, so the piston is out of question. You can't customize it. So you can you can customize its accuracy and its uh, rate of fire. Rate of fire, I honestly don't feel a, uh, a damn difference. So that's out of the question. Accuracy, I don't really feel a difference either. So the customizations on the Desert Eagle are pretty much null and void. So I suggest you guys don't even waste your customizations on your Desert Eagle at all. I wasn't able to feel any difference with the Desert Eagle's um, customizations, because, uh, in, this, in the gameplays that you see in this review, um, you'll see me use a Desert Eagle, and, um, in both gameplays here, on both, um, both games of Junk Fleet, I think there'll be another game of this, because I, I see that my, um, my review is getting, uh, getting to be 20 minutes long, um, over 20 minutes long, of course, it's usually like this for every starter weapon, for each family, but, um, yeah, the... The Desert Eagle, custom, uh, you can see that the, I've customized the Desert Eagle for every single game. And the reason for that is because I already know how the Desert Eagle fe uh, feels um, with, when it's not customized. And because I used it for, I used it a lot uh, back in like maybe a year or two ago. So um, I used a lot back then because it was a fully automatic pistol. And back in the day, I had a really crappy HP computer which lagged whenever I played combat arms. So uh, because it was a fully automatic pistol, or the first fully automatic pistol, I could just hold it down and keep firing. And I didn't have to wor uh, worry about the lag the um the you know the graphics lag for me uh, trying to fire my g23 as fast as possible even though it's pretty fun so yeah i do know how the desert eagle performs without all its customizations so honestly speaking customizations will not do you any good so i suggest you guys save your customizations for something uh for another weapon that's much more uh that's, that's a lot worth your or i should say it's a lot more worth your customization parts in order to customize so I know that sound that came out a little bit weird, but I hope you guys can bear out, bear with me on that. My ing my English is not too good. I Asian, see. But um, anyways, um, as for my frank personal opinion on the Desert Eagle, the Desert the Desert Eagle, the the Eagle. We'll just call it the Eagle, because I, you guys know how my uh my rate of fire is when I talk. <laughs> it's over nine thousand, of course. Um, the Desert Eagle, it's. It's a very fun pistol, but it's definitely not the most practical. However, if you master it, it, it to its fullest potential, I can see people absolutely wrecking house with the Desert Eagle. Because not only is it very strong, it's a clean two-shot kill to most, just about anyone. Unless you got this weird lag spike or you're fighting like some sort of damn house. Or, um, but also, it's technically pretty accurate. And it's very easy to pick off people at middle or long range with the Desert Eagle. So, if you come across a Desert Eagle Pro... Don't call him a hacker right away, because the Desert Eagle does have a lot of pros working in its favor. Overall, the Desert Eagle is a solid pistol, and you can see me, you can see that I do pretty well, except it's obviously not the most practical, so unfortunately, for as as much of its badassery that the Eagle holds in itself, it's... I, you would much, you'd be much better off using like a fully automatic pistol like the G18 Cobra or the, the, the new uh, Bushmaster, um, or even like just a, your normal spammable pistol like your USP or um, your G23. So, yeah, but definitely do check out the Desert Eagle if you guys haven't had a, a chance to do so. Um, it is uh, unlocked at the relatively, I'd say, middle of the line uh, rank at Master Sergeant 3 once again. So, um, if you guys are that rank or higher, I do highly recommend that you guys uh, use the Desert Eagle uh, for our time and see how you like it. I hope you guys will like it because, I mean, the, the Desert Eagle in itself is the embodiment of badass. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this 23-minute uh, minute long review. God, these reviews can get out of hand sometimes. But, and, um, yeah. I look forward to um, seeing you guys in the next review. And um, next review, if you guys <laughs> couldn't tell already, uh, is going to be on the Desert Eagle Black, the GP rare variant of the Desert Eagle. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. You could shoot that, didn't it?